Wow, weather's been changing a bit. We got some, I think, dotted cumulus clouds going on. I like it. Welcome back, everyone, to the Let's Play. This is Dallas here. You know, I almost feel too protected with all this on. I actually always used to love running around my world just like this, with just my boots, so I can jump off the highest peak and still live. You know what, that's what I need in here. I have all these armor stands. Like, what are you doing here? This is my old trader gear. I can't believe I just got distracted that fast. Uh, oh well. <laughs> All right, Trader Gear, you're gonna be moved. This is gonna be the new spot where I just put down my gear that I'm currently wearing, but don't wanna wear all of it. There we go. I gotta be careful with this. This is really old. I made this back when we got dyed leather for the first time. I got inspired by Cicero from Skyrim. This is my trading gear. It improves my speech craft. <laughs> you can go in here for now. Today is a big chore day. It is the new season. We are ready to build new things. And I'm still getting used to not having elytra wings. But I want to work on my house. There's lots of things we need to work on. Simple as that. First of all is the bridge system to get up to the third. Is that third? Th that floor. <laughs> currently there's no way to get up there. And I know this because I watched Rifts tour my world and he had an issue getting up there. He's actually where I got these clouds from. If you want to watch him tour my world in detail, the link will be in the description. But I have to figure out a way to get up here. Let's do that. No, no, no. See, I was just gonna walk right past it. I have a new thing for this world. If, if I see a trapdoor mess from the trapdoor glitches, I have to fix them. Simple as that. Uh, where'd that one go? Way down there? What the? Why don't I put something in this room? Hey, hey, you wanna hear me complain? Listen to this. Scaffolding should be able to go out like that. Useless block. What the? Oh no, my storage room isn't here anymore. You know what, I should probably put something in here just to help me. What the, what is that stuff? Powders? Wow, there's a lot of wood. Oh, there's some wood. Much better. Okay, let's think of our options here. I forgot I actually did finish these windows at once too, but this is when we had to revert back to a save. I don't have elytra wings, I need to get up there. Oh gosh, yeah, I remember how awkward this place was. It's just long and skinny. I'm gonna go back to that video and try to remake it to how it was. We got some good sight lines up here too. I should probably make some balconies. Okay, this place is exactly caught up to where it left off before we had to revert back to an old save. Got all the glass in, made it look nice, got staircases, and even remade this awkward staircase right here, which is really strange, but it goes in here like that. This is under the observatory. It also goes up to this floor like that. And this goes up here. <laughs> and then we can now have access to the observatory. Which is all fine and dandy, but we still don't have access to up here from the main part of the house. So let's do that. Oh, we got a new door here. Look at that. Ooh, look at that nice sky. So... <laughs> I've been working on all kinds of new ways to enter the house. Currently the area we are at, there's been no way to get through here except for going into this part of the house and then going across the sky bridge. <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. So um, as you can see, I added a door and a staircase here and I really like it. I think it fits pretty well. I've been doing a lot of small detail work too, like going in through the house, adding in trap doors right here. These simple little trap door additions that I'm pointing at right now Look how much it gives a nice curve to the whole house. So we got that. I added a whole new rope bridge right here, which, um, well, let me show you. In the armory, I decided to add an awkward, I might change it up, an awkward staircase right here. Um, but this gets us up to here. I've been working on this. Got some tall double doors here. I'm turning this to a balcony. Still messing with this ugly bit, but, um, yeah, I got some balconies to view the world. Really been spicing this place up a bit. I got some like, I like how this looks homemade almost. It's like a homemade staircase. Been adding archways across the top. But this obviously takes us all the way to the tippity top here. And then if you walk over this way to this awkward bit, it's just all awkward. This is where I put the ropeage. But right after I built it, it was originally going to go right across here to that window. But I'm like, maybe I'll try over here. And then I realized I have a crane right here, but luckily it's not really operational. 
So, I guess we can make it look like it hoists stuff down to here. Whatever. I'm loving the way all this is looking, and then I look over to my left, and then the survival lab is there, and it's just so... And it's such an eyesore compared to all my new building style. I'm gonna have to renovate you. All right, let's see what else we can work on. Okay, I spiffied up this room a little bit more. Just wanted to fill it up, put furniture in here. Again, this room is not very useful. It's just my map room. The things around it, I just want it to look like where we prepare the maps, maybe. Just storage, books, a table, a little cabinet. I think the only thing you can fit in this is armor stands because I put the door right here. You'd have to put the armor stands above this and drop them in there, but eh, I'll just keep it empty. Now, another thing that's really lacking in my house is signs to point where to go. I know this is my house, so I know where to go, but I feel like it would be pretty handy. I used to do it in some areas, like the old parts of the house, like workshop right here. But now that we have hanging signs, I feel like we can do it a lot better. There we go. Made this look nicer too. Finally finished this stone brick section. This obviously leads down to the sewer. Oh, I need to finish that fence up there. But all together, it's just looking way better now. And I am moving that bridge because it's just bothering me knowing that that couldn't go down. <laughs> you know, doing this is reminding me I have something to fix in my world. Something that's been waiting to be fixed for a very long time. <laughs> right over here, I have... <laughs> How long ago did I build these sky bridges? Look, and I never finished those fences across there. Now this right here is absolutely the most overdue touch up or build in my world. This is older than the factory. How did I forget about this? There we go. I mean, I'm not even that big of a fan of it, but there it is. Move the bridge over, that is finished, I'm happy. We have all these new ways to get in the house, but there's still something else. Finish this room even more, put up a big glass window over here. Small detail, but I put a bunch of fences across there. That's a good idea if you need to just cover up a spot. Ah, oh, crap, this part. And also, if we jump uh, over here, <laughs> I gotta attach this to the house. That looks much better, I like it. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna use hanging oak signs. Yeah, that looks the best. It's easy to read, armory. I guess that works. Then one right here, map room. But I'm not gonna do it everywhere. Some rooms are self-explanatory. Like I could hang one here and say nether room, but it's just a room with the portal in it. Don't need to do that. I know I keep updating you on small details, but I think details really matter. And I just now realize I need to cover that up. What even is that? Just a hole, a strip. I don't know what to put there. Maybe just one long piece of glass, but uh, trap doors on the side of stairs. I feel like these really enhance stairs and even doing this right here getting rid of those fences and i believe trap doors do not cause any lag in your world even if you have a bunch of them because these are considered just a normal block in the game but yeah this looks way better now this room is officially finished that's where i put the flying slime by the way it'll stay in there for a little while up here i completely got rid of my pathway i'm redoing all this again because it's just awkward i threw this together so quick I need to find a way to get up there, so in the old storage room here, felt kind of weird doing it, but I got rid of all this section. <laughs> I'm going to leave this one here for memories. Um, I'll probably line some barrels in here so we can still use it as a storage system, but I guess right here I'm going to put a staircase. Just seems fitting. See what I can come up with here. I gotta admit, guys, I'm really enjoying this. Just working on the small details of my house. I feel like I've been <laughs> needing to do this for a long time. It's just fun. How does this part look? Ugh. Eh. That right there is what I messed with. This is so difficult. Might have to mess with it more. It looks a little square and awkward. But that is because uh, we got the staircase here now and I got it all looking normal up through here. Got a couple windows. I put in some azalea bushes right there and I'm working on this room now. So you can see I'm starting to add some foliage up here and that gave me the idea. This is going to be a plant room. The main plant room of my house. I want to have hanging pots from the ceiling. Right here, I have an idea. I want to, is that not full? Why is that dipped down right there? Oh, well. I find it kind of strange that I don't have a plant room in my house anywhere. Like a, can I do this? Please don't tell me. Oh, I gotta have dirt there. No. Oh. Uh -huh. Think about working with slabs. Where'd that go? We're good? <laughs> 
Click on the block, not the slab. Throw some dirt down there. Now, we can have some of those in here. Sure. Although it doesn't look as good as I was hoping it would. Oh, whatever. I'm going to plant some more stuff in here. Okay, our new room is finished up here. It is my conservatory, and I love it so much. I had to stop myself. I was almost putting too much in here, but I think this is just the right amount. I want it to look like I'm pretty busy in here with all kinds of different plants. Even put in some... I honestly forgot what those are called. Those things. <laughs> that adds a lot of effect, if you didn't know. This adds all kinds of particles going everywhere. I love it. To be fair, this place doesn't have much of a use. You don't really farm anything here. Actually, I can probably grow few berries on this. There we go. Ah, I love it. Got some more signs here too to help maneuver through the house. <laughs> Would it be my toolbox? Aha. I must, oh, I need an arrow. Oh wait, did I put some in here? Aha. <laughs> so, I kind of turned this room into this. Just a, just a small storage. Completely finished this again. Got my shelves up. Chandelier. It's all come together and I'm really wishing I would have done all this for download for all of you guys because I'm changing so much. But uh, I saw something out here. Aha. Oh. So I think I will get the effect because if you assist in his death, which is knocking him off of there. Oh, I meant what? what you were supposed to fall off. Oh, I fell off. Oh, I killed him. Whoops. I got to be real careful because I have this new rule too. I can never go in peaceful mode unless I mean, I absolutely have to. I don't want to repeat it. Okay. Where's my closest cow? Oh no, this sucks. I have so many villagers near my cow. I can't go over there. No. I saw that. No. I really got to get these supplies back home. How long has this chest been here? I need that coal. I really need coal. I am headed over to my science facility because Dr. KT Pepitone has something for me. Man, I really like this sky. I might have to start using it more. And there is a slight way to fix this. If you have my world and there is somewhat of a simple fix. I play, I bounce between like 30 and 60 with my brightness, but if you turn it all the way to max, it's almost non-existent. But I think max brightness in this game looks awful. <laughs> Mainly for nighttime. I want to be scared at night. And at nighttime with max brightness, it almost looks like daytime and it's just not fun. Pepitone, is it ready? What's so interesting about that wall? It is? Okay. <laughs> he literally fell out of my air ducts. Ow. I just fixed this armor. One thing I didn't realize too, this is my first fully enchanted set of netherite armor too. I just like keeping track of that kind of stuff. You know me. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. You guys ready? I know I am. More multiverse stuff. Ah. Ah. No warning or nothing. It just plops you in here. It's nighttime. Ooh, a bed. So, if you're not aware what this world is, this is my first official world download of any world I've ever had in my YouTube life, I guess you could say. This is called Survival 3. This was a small series I had back on Minecraft Pocket Edition on a very finite world. It was not infinite. And lately, I have not been able to have access to this world. I still have it in my world files, but... It has troubles transitioning to the new to the new caves and cliffs, I think. But one of my viewers actually managed to get the world working. As you can see, it's now an infinite world. But as you can see, it used to cut off right here. It was just all void this way. I can't believe we used to play on like, what was it? 300 by 300 block worlds. Got the old stone cutters in here. Oh, man. And he got all the chests working. My old download didn't make the chests work. So all my stuff is still in here. Food. I wasn't very rich, I can tell. Tools. Was that my first pickaxe? Can I bring that back? Oh. My God. I just found easily, I swear, I think it is, honestly, the rarest item in Minecraft. It, yeah, it is. Because it's still in the game, but very, you cannot get it. It's simple as that. If you have it from an old world like this, then you're just lucky. Nether Reactor Core. They changed the texture on it. That's interesting. It looks very plasticky from what I remember. I can't place this down though. That's the mistake we made in our Let's Play world. I still had my core, but I was creating a monument for it in one of my episodes and I placed it down and I'm like, huh, 
I don't really like it there. So I picked up the monument, and when I picked up this, it broke into diamond and iron. Oh, only if I could bring this back. Holy smokes. I want it so bad. My little trash room. What's this? Fast travel? No thanks. What's this right here? Oh, this is my old kitchen. As you can see, the cakes have turned into update blocks. This goes down here. Oh, yes. <laughs> my tree farm that could only hold six, or no, eight trees. The big creeper face back here. Here's a chicken farm. Same design. This, you can see, this is where I got it from. My old chicken farm. Could have swore I did. Oh, yeah. I must have. I had more episodes after I released the download, so a lot of stuff isn't in here. There's one last thing I'm going to check. What was your name? Chico? Rico? Bertha. <laughs> I had a pet chicken named Bertha there. Gosh, you can just tell. Look at this world generation here. I remember this. I used to think this was so cool right here. I actually planned on building something here, but we never got around to it. Just these classic overhangs, man. Oh, and there it is. Look at that. Another nether reactor structure and sheep used to destroy your land as you can tell that was like a weird thing back then it's weird how it's all still here too well it's it's just now leaving off from where i left off so oh yeah here it is and i did it right on the edge of the world too wow this has a mega tiger in it now i would have freaked out back then well that's enough here take me back pepitone Oh, but we're not done yet. This person, I think he goes by Xovtar, but he's the one that got me that old world download and converted my Let's Play to Java Edition and everything is perfect. So that's pretty cool. And before you ask, no, I will not be switching to this version because as you can tell, I'm even on my main graphics card and I'm getting eight FPS around home. So absolutely not gonna happen. My world belongs on bedrock where it was made. But what I'm getting at is I'm going to get his permission to give you guys this download link so you guys can have my world in perfect working condition on Java. Probably adding that room full of foliage doesn't help my frame rate around here, but it is what it is. We did a lot today. Man, I just have to lower my render distance more and more around here. But, oh man, we did a lot a lot today. It may not look like it, but I have so many new ways to traverse the house and I still need to add some more. You know what I've been thinking? I want somewhere in my house to add a spot with, <laughs> well, on the outside, let's say, I have slime blocks maybe oozing from it. But I'm trying to think of what that area could be used for. Like, why would there be slime oozing from it? I don't want it to be like an area where I'm shedding or anything. That sounds gross. But maybe like an area in my house where I produce slime, not through fecal matter or anything, but through just like a machine but make it look messy. I want it to be all greasy on the inside and then on the outside, make it look like some of it is oozing out. I think that'd be fun. Today's comment question comes from Dylan Lauer. How are you going to update your building style? Do you plan to use a new block palette for future blocks? I mean, yes and no. This part of the house over here is a good example. I'm always going to try to fit in green terracotta into expansions of the house. I'm strictly talking about expansions of the house, but as you can see, compared to all the old stuff, it was strictly oak and green terracotta. Now moving into what? We got mud, we got green concrete, lime concrete powder, we got birch, we got spruce all over the place, and we, we're starting to work in some stones, some black stone, some basalt, jungle wood. I want to mix it all together to make it more complex instead of just this constant shade. So I actually want to go to all the roofs in my house and kind of just tear them up a bit and add some different blocks. I don't know about next episode though. Next episode, we're gonna be going out to the space station, believe it or not. We're gonna work out there and all kinds of different things around the house because I just, I have it all in my journal here. I don't wanna spoil anything, but I got some cool new plans and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one.